Ladies and gentlemen, I'm extremely grateful to the Shaw Foundation and to its founders, Mr. and Mrs. Run Run Shaw, for their support for fundamental research and for my having been awarded the 2021 Shaw Prize in Mathematical Sciences. It's a particular pleasure to share this honor with my great friend and collaborator, Jean-Michel Bismuth. My deepest thanks to the selection committee for this wonderful recognition of my mathematical work. I was introduced to mathematics at the age of seven by my father, who was a structural engineer. Soon I was hooked. The first friend with whom I could share my enthusiasm was Mel Hoxter. Beyond all the mathematics I learned from them, my teachers Shlomo Sternberg, Raoul Bott, Salomon Bachner, and above all, Jim Simons were an inspiration. They conveyed the impression that being a mathematician was a little like being a member of a special order, an order into which one could hope one day to be initiated. I've had many brilliant collaborators, students, and mathematical friends. Collaborations, each one of them different, have been key to my enjoyment of mathematics. Along with its challenges and frustrations, working alone has its rewards as well. I started out by studying the connections between the curvature of smooth Riemannian manifolds and their geometry and topology. At the time, though the subject was still underdeveloped, enough tools had been accumulated so that it was poised to take off. For me, this circumstances amounted to a stroke of luck since it offered the chance to participate. Although initially my viewpoint was very geometric, at a certain juncture I began learning more analysis. Indeed, geometry and analysis were becoming increasingly intertwined. Before long, analytic objects such as eigenvalues of the Laplacian, L2 harmonic forms, and global spectral invariants had entered my work. While the curvature of smooth Riemannian manifolds remained a central focus, more singular geometric objects, including piecewise flat pseudo-manifolds, Gromov-Hausdorff limit spaces, and metric measure spaces also came into play. These arose naturally from the close connections between geometry, topology, and analysis. As with many mathematicians, I was struck early on by the fact that uniquely in mathematics, once something is proved, is always known to be true. As a consequence, mathematics continually builds on itself. In this way, across race, time, and culture, mathematics exerts a high-level unifying influence on humanity. Finally, I want to thank my family, especially my wife Shirley, for their love and support. <laughs>